Okay, hi. Uh, this is another episode thing of teenage talking with me. Okay, right, today's topic, like, thing is most common things teenagers say, like teenagers say that they think is cool, and they usually get from artists, bandwagons, things that are most likely popular on the internet. And I have a couple here on this list here on the other side <laughs> that I'm gonna say mostly there is a lot of things teenagers say that are common that I'm not putting on this list because I don't really understand them myself or I think they're quite stupid and I'm not gonna discuss them. The first one is swag. I understand people are like oh it's like referring to their popularity or their dress code or cool jeans although it means it actually has a definition and swagger means to swagger down the hallway that's like one example which like is walking a weird way I'm just saying that's I think that's what swag should mean as referring to teenagers these days because honestly saying you have swag isn't that cool because swag's not gonna pay your bills when you're older it's not gonna help you out there just saying like yeah I'm gonna live life living on swag no thanks okay and another one is YOLO obviously it's said by Drake or if you're a screamo fan or but screamo fan suicide silence says it to you but it actually means to go out and do something proactive with your life and be like let's say I went out since I'm 14 it's really not like there's some jobs that are legal to work as a 14 year old in the state I live in obviously but like <laughs> although that is proactive I could go out and be like oh hey I just got a new job like cool I worked I worked to get a job I filled out the resume I went to training I called and I made sure that I got that job I am being proactive I'm not going out and getting pregnant and drinking and smoking although I have had experiences with those things not pregnancy because obviously <laughs> I'm not pregnant but I have my fair share of doing wrong things as a teenager and going out and be like hey I'm smoking and I'm drinking and I could be doing something better with my life I could be going out and making new friends or businessmen and I could be doing something that could actually change my life those who people that like after they get out of high school they're like oh, I'm just gonna stay home for a year and like backpack around the world or something or I'm just gonna chill and wait till my opportunities get bigger if you wait your opportunities are gonna get smaller they're not gonna wait for you someone else is gonna take that chance that they gave you because you didn't take it but those people that do wait I suggest you don't get into college I mean if you can't afford it take some school loans out and get a job or something or try somewhat to do something with your life get a, go to school get a job find a new relationship I don't know have some fun but don't go out there and act stupid because those things will affect your life but I'm just saying that maybe you should put down the blunt and put down your can of bush and like you know do some schoolwork I know it's summer now but some people do have year-round school but if it is summer go get a job go have fun with your friends actually know what you're doing during the day and the next one is no big deal that means like obviously no big deal um, I people we refer to it as using let's say I said just went out and smoked no big deal or just got a new job no big deal like that's what it's used for obviously but I think it's kind of stupid because it, it's not a big deal then why are you posting about it and if it's not a big deal why why does why do you think anybody else would care obviously it's a big deal to you just saying because I think that's just stupid I don't use no big deal at all I just think you're stuff just saying and ratchet or she ratchet from you know like why are you asking all them questions I understand that that's bandwagon everybody's like oh cool they said it let's say it too but half your bitches don't even know what ratchet means obviously if you don't know what it means don't fucking say it because it just makes you look stupid and if you're gonna refer to another person as ratchet please know what you're saying and Please make sure that they are ratchet before saying it because I have seen many people say she ratchet or something and they're like, they don't even know what they're talking about and that person ain't ratchet at all. Just saying, get your shit straight. But 
the other one is ain't on that as in like i'm not on this like i ain't on that drama like drop it blah, blah. if you ain't on it then you should stop it if you ain't on drama stop it right then and there delete the person delete the fucking comments and get over it on facebook people will be like oh that shit's so stupid like today I don't know, was it a picture that I edited or something? And was like, someone messaged me and said they don't know the difference between the picture. And I was like, well, I do. And they're like, well, what? And I explained to them that I know the difference. And they're like, well, that's dumb as fuck. Why don't you just make another one? And it's like, well, if you're not going to respect me for making it, that's stupid. And then, like, after, like, 20 minutes of arguing with them, they're like, well, I ain't even on that. I was like, if you ain't on it, then don't fucking message me about your bullshit because I don't care. If I don't care enough to do another edit for you, then I don't really care what you're saying. Because whatever I do is what I do. If it doesn't have anything to do with you or I don't really care what you're saying, then get the fuck over it. Because everybody says ain't on it all the time. And that shit's annoying as fuck. Because when I see people say, I ain't on this drama, bye bye. It's like, if you're going to say bye, delete your fucking comments and get to going. Because nobody else cares about what you have to say. If you're being tackled or like people are like on putting you on blast on fucking drama and you're like well i'm not on it bye girl i ain't even on this shit like get off the fucking drama thing let it go people don't understand that it's like if you say bye you meant fucking bye people are gonna keep commenting people are gonna keep calling you shit because no one else cares about how you feel only you feel or only you care about how you feel if you continue to think, oh, well, if I keep commenting, maybe somebody will realize how smart I am. No, people won't fucking care. They'll be like, if you don't shut the fuck up, I'm going to block you. And then sooner or later, someone's going to block you and you're going to get pissed off. Just saying, don't say it if you're not actually, if you're actually on it, don't say I ain't on it. Because honestly, you're on it. <laughs> and I know many teenage girls say this more than guys. But as fuck, as like, cool as fuck, or all oh, this is, you know, whatever. But like. As fuck, I use it, I'm not gonna lie. I do say it sometimes, I'll be like, I'm bored as fuck, or this is stupid as fuck, but people do say that, and I, mostly girls say it, but I do say it too. But I'm just saying, if you're gonna use it, don't use, overuse it. Because like, if you're gonna say it every day, be like, oh my god, ass fuck, or this ass fuck, it just makes you look dumb, and it's like, well, you're overusing it, it's not cool anymore. Obviously, if you overuse it, no one's gonna care. And I hope everybody has a good day, and it's sunny outside. Maybe I can start recording more outside without getting in a row. <laughs> Alright, bye guys.